It's almost, they almost go hand in hand. It, it was a story I remember, uh, unfortunately, happening, you know, a few years ago. I remember that fire. It was interesting for me to learn about what these guys do, and then that's where I think the beauty of the story and the movie came alive for me, was understanding that they are different. You know, they're all first responders in a way, you know, but they're not the structure firemen we're used to. They're the guys who hike up the mountains and, you know, get to enjoy beauty and save beauty with, you know, an ax and a shovel and a saw, you know. And so that, to me, I thought, well, this is really cinematic, and this is going to be a beautiful movie t to see visually and, and, and make. The script was um, quite powerful, but I think as it as it went on and we got closer and closer to production, it became it got better and better and better and became more and more authentic. But from the beginning, we always knew it was a very, you know, obviously a very powerful story. But before I even read the script, just knowing that it was based on a true story, I knew immediately. I just had a sense that it was something important. And then everything that kind of came up from the script to meeting everyone else to arriving on set, following that, only kind of confirmed that. Yeah, I. Unfortunately, knew all of the news story. Was affected by it. Remember reading the articles. Um, it's the kind of thing that I, I grew up in, in the mountains in Colorado. My uh, own family home has been we've been evacuated. We had hot shots actually save our house. I mean, I didn't really know what that meant exactly. I didn't know the the um, the actual goings on of how they did it until we shot this movie and then I could actually go back to my parents' property and go like, oh. Yeah. They did that. That's and what a line, cut that, line I get it. Tied yeah. it in there. I just thought that the fire came down to within 10 feet of my parents' house and a bunch of firemen stood there and like threw dirt on it or something. Like they, yeah. I just, I didn't know that they cut out a line, did a back burn, saved not only my parents' house, the house that I grew up in, but our whole little tiny little community. Uh, and, and then I find out that these guys are doing this story. Um, it was a movie and you know, immediately as an actor, you're like, gosh, I really ho I hope they hope they do it right. Um, and then that and I actually had known each other for a long time and I knew it was their company and I, I knew that they were gonna, um, if it was ever gonna get done right, it would be it'd be done right by these guys and was lucky to be a part of as an actor. And there's a lot of great jobs that are fun and exciting and there's some things that um, are those as well as important and I think it's important to to tell these stories and um, represent not only firefighters but I you know first responders they're the ones running towards the danger yeah. while the rest of us are running to our trailers we're very careful and uh, particular about saying we just got the tip of the iceberg as far as real hotshot training and um, to, to us it was a lot but uh, we kind of you know we, we were the, the band-aid was ripped off pretty quickly and we were um, you know the gear and the, the the weight of it and the heat and the hiking and all that and digging and picking and scraping and, <laughs> yeah um, we, we learned it all pretty quickly but we we had got real guys around us real hot shots around us um, that made it all that much more important to us to do it right by them. Um, so we worked our, our butts off to get it right. Um, and then you know, we kind of owed it to, to ourselves, to everybody. You couldn't really slack. You couldn't be a, I couldn't be lazy if he's working hard next to me. Mm. And, and that, that kind of that kept, that, I don't know, it just sort of took on a life of its own. And we all, as much as you want to, you know, at the end of the day, you realize, oh, wait, I'm an actor and this is, you know, I'm playing a, a scene right now. Um, or just practicing for this scene, like you still had to, you still had to do things because mm -hmm. you, you, we were portraying real people that we respected.